God has made women emotional, men are logical. Women are always saying to men, what? <laughs> You're logical, you shave your eyebrows off and paint them back in. <laughs> right where you had them. <laughs> you try to get earwax out with a Q-tip, men know you need logically a car key. You're concerned about a splotchy, blotchy complexion, so you use makeup, so it's all one color, even though it doesn't match your neck. <laughs> but the most amazing thing that women do, and you men back me up, if you have evidence from your family, they use toilet paper when they don't even poop. <laughs> men like the garage because it's quiet out there. <laughs> Ain't nobody picking on them in the garage. Sometimes the woman just so fed up, she, why don't you go out to your garage? <laughs> Let me clean my house. <laughs> so men go out in the garage, they like it out there. They can start projects and just leave them. And they separate nuts and bolts and put them in jars that they get for Father's Day and Christmas, them things. Because they might have to fasten something someday. <laughs> she thinks it's a crowded, dirty place, but men realize they haven't wasted any time cleaning it. And that stuff that's packaged out there and stored could save them good, hard cash if she needs something someday. And he's... Already got one in the garage. <laughs> Nothing irritates a man worse than buying something that he discovers he had one in the garage, especially for somebody you don't like, right? That sister-in-law don't need a new baby stroller. If you got an old lawnmower frame, aluminum chair, and a TV tray, <laughs> you're done. But then she comes out and gets you from the garage. And she's irritated if she hears you whistling. Right? What, what are you happy about? <laughs> why the hell are you whistling? Because I'm by myself, that's why. <laughs> you ask a man what would make him happy, he'd say, leave me alone. You ask a woman why she's mad, he left me alone. <laughs> she comes out of the garage and gets him, drags him back in the house because she realizes being queen of the house means nothing if you have no staff. Women always want us to empathize with them. They say, I want you to know how I feel. And men think, well, let me feel you. <laughs> We're just guys. 